हेलो केट एस फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू केट केमिकल सोल्यूशन चानल दिस इज वन मार फ्लूड मेकानिक क्वेश्चन इन द इयर टू तौस ट्वेंटी वन गेट क्वेश्चन पेपर प्लीज रीड द क्वेश्चन वेरी केरफुल अंड ईडेंटिफाई वाट इज गिवेन अंड वाट यू हव टू फैंड ओके फर् दिस प्रॉब्लम वील सी द कॉन्सेप्ट देन वी विल गो फर द प्रॉब्लम सोल्यूशन इफ यू आर वेल अवेर आफ द कॉन्सेप्ट यू कैन डैरेक्टली स्कीप दिस कॉन्सेप्ट एक्सप्लेनेशन पार्ट अंड यू कैन डैरेक्टली गो इन टू द सोल्यूशन पार्ट इट से विल सी द कॉन्सेप्ट फर् दिस प्रॉब्लम So that is nothing but the mass balance in a flowing fluid. That is nothing but continuity equation. For this, I have considered a small volume element of volume delta x, delta y, and delta z in a three dimensions x, y, z. Okay. Let's see. Let's say the vol uh, density of the fluid is rho. The mass flux of the fluid in x direction at the phase x. is represented by rho u x and similarly at the phase x plus delta x it is represented as represented as rho u x plus delta x similarly in y direction at the phase y it is represented as rho u sorry rho v y at the phase y plus delta y it is represented as rho v y plus rho v of y plus delta y and in z direction at the phase z it is represented as rho w z at the phase z plus delta z it is rep represented as rho w z plus delta z so okay clear the flux is nothing but the flow rate rate per unit area any rate either it is volumetric flow rate or mass flow rate or molar flow rate any flow rate per rate change per unit area okay here we have assuming it as a mass flux right so mass per unit area the area for this x phase is this one delta y multiplied into delta z clear so we will see the mass balance for this uh, volume uh, fluid element so this is the rate rate of mass flow in minus rate of mass flow out equal to rate of mass accumulation is general equation for a small element of fluid it is enter, uh, flowing in the stream rho u of x minus rho u of x plus delta x entering at the face and leaving at the play uh, face x plus delta x into area it gives a mass flow rate right similarly in y direction rho v y minus rho v y at y plus delta y into delta x delta z area plus in z direction rho w z minus rho w z plus delta z into delta x and delta y this is the nothing but the accumulation of the mass in the fluid element that is delta x delta y delta z into rho do rho by do t clear by dividing dividing the whole expression in by delta x delta y and delta z we'll get like this so complete terms in terms of x this is complete in terms of y this is complete in terms of z do rho by do t okay so since it is a small volume element i can take if the approach is equation the corresponding delta x delta y delta z approach is zero then this limit is converting into the differential form okay so we know from this expression limit delta x tends to zero f of x plus delta x minus f of x divided by delta x is nothing but the differentiation of the function x right from this relation i can write the corresponding in terms of density and velocity minus since it is a two independent variables are there right that's why we have to apply partial derivatives that is do by do x of 
rho u minus dou by dou by f rho v minus dou by dou z of rho w since it is in reverse form right that's why we will get the minus here that equal to dou rho by dou t so the same expression i can write like this dou rho by dou t equal to minus this complete term is represented as del dot rho v this is called as velocity sorry divergence of the velocity vector this is nothing but the vector operator on a vector field it gives the it produces scalar quantity of the this vector field since it is a dot product right the dot product of two vectors is scalar right so it produces the scalar quantity of this well vector field that is the divergence of this divergence of velocity vector now by doing the partial derivative with respect to velocities and densities we will get this expression that is with respect to density here minus u into dou rho by dou x minus with respect to velocity rho into dou u by dou x minus here with respect to density v into dou rho by dou y minus with respect to velocity minus rho into dou v by dou y here with respect to density minus rho w sorry minus w into dou rho by dou z minus with respect to velocity in z direction uh, minus rho by rho into dou w by dou z that equal to dou rho by dou z by separating by separating the velocity terms and density terms minus rho into dou u by dou x plus dou v by dou y plus dou w dou z equal to dou rho by dou t plus u into dou rho by dou x plus v into dou rho by dou y plus w into dou rho by dou z this complete term this complete four terms will be represented as d rho by dt previously this is indicated as my, my by taking the rho is constant del dot v okay this is called as the substantial derivative of the density this is not what it in case means here four terms are there right this with respect to space and with respect to time this this derivative indicates the rate of change of the density by by standing at the particular point and looking at there what is the change with respect to the density at the particular time at this particular position whereas suppose i am the person moving with the velocity of the fluid and i am observing what is the change in the density that is indicated by this th these three times in terms in three different directions x y and z directions the complete four terms are called as the substantial derivatives okay are the derivative following the motion for the continuity equation for a fluid of constant density this equation becomes for a constant density means density is constant density differentiation with respect to time as well as differentiation with respect with respect to the space will be zero for constant density d rho by dt equal to zero from the previous expression this term equal to zero by sending density by this side del dot v equal to zero here del is nothing but the vector operator that is dou by dou x of i cap plus dou by dou y of j cap plus dou by dou z of k cap okay vector field here dou rho by dou t equal to zero in two cases whether rho is constant or steady state in both the cases this term will be zero okay if rho is not constant and it is steady state in the del of this uh, substantial derivative only this term will be zero these three terms will be remains there for the case of steady state incompressible flow clear now we will see the solution for this problem using this concept so in the in the problem they have given the three dimensional velocity field that is given by like this and here the c is the constant 
and v is described as the incompressible fluid flow velocity okay so we have to find out the, the constant value c since it is mentioned as incompressible fluid flow delta del dot v equal to zero so already we know del is a velocity eh, sorry vector operator that is given like this so since this is also vector the dot product of though b these two vectors will be like this so by differentiating it with respect to the x here and y here and z here we will get 10xy plus c minus 10xy equal to 0 from this this one this one get cancelled c equal to 0 clear thank you